Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends Wednesday, November the 21st. We've got two topics today, hopefully of interest to you. Columbia Second Chance. We've known Columbia Second Chance in our area for, well, 25, 26, 27 years. They're not Columbia Second Chance anymore. They're just Second Chance, and we'll explain why. Valerie Chafin, Executive Director, good to have you here. Nice, thanks for inviting me. So why drop Columbia off of Columbia Second Chance? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One, um, we moved from Columbia about two and a half years ago to 10 miles west of here near Boonville um, to have a, bitter, a better facility, a bigger area. It's 39 acres versus the backside of a liquor store um, uh -huh. in downtown Columbia. Better place to adopt animals and create families. And we had a marketing consultant this summer to um, analyze the situation for us and found out that we're known as Second Chance, um, not Columbia Second Chance. And so to embrace what the public already calls us, as well as a, f a larger area that we're rescuing animals, we're just now Second Chance. Second Chance. And you're, you're, you're taking care of animals across all over central Missouri. Oh, yes, definitely. How many... The Second Chance has been around 27 years 27 now? 27 years this month. Off the top of your head, do you know how many animals' lives you've saved? Um, in 27 years, a little over 10,000 animals. Yeah. Throughout central Missouri, throughout the country, actually. That's, that's wonderful. Now, you had Paws in the Park earlier this year, and that went very well. Yeah, our right? signature event in September. It was fabulous. We changed it up a little this year. We added an, uh, an educational seminar tent to the, to the day so families can come out and not only play with their pets in the park, in Stevens Park, but kind of park their pets for 20 or 30 minutes and learn more nutrition ideas or better training or medical um, ideas. Yeah. So we had that too. Now, the holidays are coming up. And a lot of times people think about adopting for the holidays. And obviously you want to adopt as many pets as you can. Sure. But it's not a good idea to surprise somebody with a pet for Christmas. No, the pet doesn't like surprises and everybody else isn't that crazy about it either. So a pet adoption needs to be a process more than walking by the back of a car or in a park or in a store and say, I want that for my son or daughter on Christmas morning and open the box and there's the puppy or the kitten. They really don't like to be in boxes anyway. So it's a process that needs to happen over a period of time. So between now and Christmas is a great time to look into our organization and see if we have a cat or a dog or a puppy or a kitten that would be a good addition to your family. Right. So the holidays are perfectly fine for bringing in a new addition, but just not the day before. Right. And the other thing is, this is... It's supposed to be a lifetime commitment. Yes, we hope that, it is. That, we that, hope a it lifetime is. commitment. If people want more information about Second Chance, how do they get in touch with you? They can go on our website at www.columbiasecondchance.org, and we've got enough information, I think, to answer any questions on that website. Okay, and your location, they can come out and visit? They can. We're about 10 miles west off of 70 on Highway 179. We're open Fridays and Sundays 1 to 5 and Saturdays 12 to 5. Okay, but you'll get all that information on the website. It is. All right, Valerie Chafin, thank you so much for thank coming you. by. From Second Chance, From Second formerly Chance. Columbia Second Chance, now Second Chance in Central Missouri. Now we've got another one of my friends here, Todd Davidson. It's been a while since you've it been has. with us on Radio Friends. Todd it Davidson, uh, Maples Rep Theater, and you're the artistic director, uh, the owner the uh, <laughs> just about everything. Just, yeah, sometimes <laughs> the we get, floor sweeper. We the get called paper. into everything sometimes. That's right. correct. But uh, you, you're here to tell us about the uh, the holiday show Our coming. Holiday up, which show. Opens, what it two opens, days? Yeah, just uh, the day after Thanksgiving. So yeah. just two days. Friday night. It's burglars holiday, and it's a Christmas farce. We say a Christmas farce for the whole family. Mm -hmm. It's about a. Is it a musical? Is no, it it's a, a play. It's about a couple who decides they're not going to stay home for Christmas. They're going to go away this time to an island or somewhere tropical. And uh, so some local burglars are kind of casing their house. They think, well, when they go, we're going to go in and get their stuff. Well, then there's a snowstorm, and so the people end up staying, and the burglars get confused, and they come in, and then the family gets confused about who the burglars are, and they invite them into the house, and everything kind of <laughs> goes wrong. And uh, so uh, it's one of those things where after you see this show, you're going to think, boy, my family is really normal, because this family <laughs> on stage, is everything goes wrong with them. They're really screwy. So uh, Burglar's Holiday, has it, has it been around for a while? Is it, it's, really uh, it's a relatively new show. Uh, it was written by some folks out in the Philadelphia area uh, at Rainbow Dinner Theater. So it's not been on Broadway? It has not been, nope. 
Uh, so uh, we're gonna. This is the first time it's really been produced in the Midwest. So. Oh, so this is a world premiere. It's, it's a Midwest a, premiere a, a, anyway. at the Maple's. Yes. Well, I was that's gonna right. say a world premiere for the Midwest. That's at right. Maple's Rep Theater. That's so how'd you decide on this particular play? Well, we were always looking for funny Christmas shows because it seems like at the holidays we've tried some things that were a little more somber or serious, and it seems like mostly people. You did a musical last year. Right? Uh, yes, we have. We've done a musical a couple of times, and it seems like people want to laugh and have a good time at the holidays. So I was looking for some com comedy Christmas plays, and I just ran across these folks uh, at Rainbow Dinner Theater, and they've written several of their own plays, and then every year they do a funny show. So I said, well, what are some shows that have been successful for you? And so they shared this show with me. So mm -hmm. how, many, how many people are in there? There are per eight people. Okay. Eight people. And they, the burglars, do they end up being friends with the people that they're well, planning to burglarize? Well, I can't really tell you how, how it ends, <laughs> but, but they do have a lot of interactions with them. Okay, so it's opening the day after Thanksgiving uh, on... the 23rd, uh -huh. and then it plays for three weekends, and then the Tuesdays and Wednesdays in between, too. Yeah. So. Yeah, if, for people who are not familiar with the Maples Rep Theater, you're, you're set in a beautiful old yep. theater. The, the Royal Theater was built in 1889 as an opera house, and it's a charming place and a great place to see plays because you're close to everything. Yeah, it yeah. really is. And uh, it's nice to go up in the summertime, and even though it's an old theater, it's air conditioned, it's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. yep. You got heat, <laughs> yep. you got heat, and it's, it's just really a nice, it's a nice place. Another thing about the facility is it's at grade, you can come in at grade and there's no steps to get to your seat. So a lot of times people who are slow or, or, or uh, appreciate I, that. I hadn't thought yep. about that, that's true. Yep. But you, but- There's a ramp, but there's no, no actual stairs. Yeah, now, in the summertime, you would have, uh, on Sunday, you had dinners. Too, uh, we do have you? Sunday dinner. So uh, before the matinee on Sunday, you can come to the lobby. and. So you're doing it for, for this we do one? That, yes. And so we also do desserts at intermission. Homemade okay. dessert. Right in the lobby. Right. Do you need to make reservations ahead of time for the dinner? It's a good idea to call ahead just so we make sure we have plenty. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, if you want more information on this, it's Maples Rep Theater. The website is? MaplesRep.com. And you can... Buy your ticket online. You sure can. Just click right through and you'll see what seats are available. You can and click you can, right on your seat. Okay, you got it. And Or you can call for more information. Telephone number is? 660-385-2924. Okay, give it, give it to it again. 660-385-2924. Okay, a bank of operators are standing by That's right now. Right. Thank you, Todd. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving and Merry Thanks Christmas. Very much. You Happy too. New Year, too. We'll see you after the first of the year, Thanks. okay? That's great. Our, uh, tomorrow, Larry Brown will be in for Thanksgiving. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute, Audio Pad Acres, KBIA. Our floor director, Eric Stazak, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. Bye-bye.